The harms of homosexuality on a society. There is a rising trend in many Western countries, which is intrinsically in contradiction to what is considered a normal society. Homosexual marriage. As of late, being modern and classy in society requires freedom, which is definitely true. But according to the changing Western cultures and values, that includes acceptance of homosexual marriage. Furthermore, many activists promote homosexuality as another human rights issue that must undeniably be protected. The media seems to be the leading tool used to disseminate and justify their argument. Homosexual lifestyle and those promoting such rights are increasingly finding support, and legitimization via movies and television shows, news reports, columns, music videos, books, and magazines. With the effect of these tools, 20% of Americans claim TV has shifted their opinion on the side of new form marriages. The fact is, however, that reshaping marriage and marketing homosexuality are a grave danger to society, especially to children and the young generation, via morality, physically and economically. Most importantly, homosexuality is strictly forbidden in the divine religions, and in the stories of the holy books, people who engaged in such indecency were penalized. Considering the matter in terms of morals and ethics, we encounter a higher rate of child molestation in same-sex couple households. Extensive researches show that children of homosexual parents are more likely to experience sexual confusion and to engage in homosexual activities themselves that will eventually cause them to suffer from psychiatric disorders, substance addiction, sexual assault, suicide, and sexually transmitted diseases such as AIDS. For this reason, it is alarming to view the statistics. For example, 94,627 children live with homosexual couples in the US, and the estimated total number of children living with at least one homosexual parent range from 6 to 14 million. Similarly, in the UK, the number of adopted children by homosexual parents skyrocketed. There have been many recorded cases of sexual molestation of boys by their homosexual parents, and many more unrecorded because they are ashamed or afraid to report it. Thus, it is important to note Pavel Astakov's Russian Ombudsman for Children's Rights evocative comments. Russian orphans always attracted foreign perverts because of accessibility. The foreigners were simply coming and taking children for money. In conjunction with this report, Russia made some adjustments on adoption of Russian children by foreign families, banning American citizens from adopting Russian children in 2012. And in the following year, the state Duma passed a law that banned the adoption of Russian children by foreign homosexual couples. The first step to overcome the psychological trauma these little children suffer is to train them in terms of this threat they may experience. Children should be informed very meticulously regarding this issue. They should learn to protect themselves and never hesitate to report the sexual abuses they undergo as it is not their fault and not an act they should be ashamed of. In order to receive acceptance from society, Homosexuals claim they have high estrogen levels, or that they are genetically born that way. Yet these assertions have been refuted through scientific studies. There is no significant difference of estrogen or testosterone levels between homosexual and straight men. Also, researchers have not found any supporting evidence that people who are homosexuals are somehow genetically dispositioned to be so. None of these would justify their indecent behavior. A person may be born without any sex, or with two sexes, or with some physical sexual defects, but they do not constitute justification to behave in an indecent way. A person is responsible to keep their chastity on every occasion in order to live an honorable life. <laughs>